Doors are locked, seat belts are tight and fastened. All right, guys, here we go. Welcome to the friendly skies of Old Green Plains. This is a different animal. I mean, we're, we're 25 to 3,500, 1,500 feet off the ground. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's intimate flying, man. That's what I love about it. Earlier on the trip, we were talking, Julie, about aviation. And one of the things you said was that it's a community. Somebody who falls in love with aviation, you don't fall out of love with it. It's kind of a lifelong uh -huh. love, right? Safety first, uh -huh. first and foremost, because we're about ready to go fly some warbirds, my friend. You know, I'm former military, so when you see them all in formation and ready to salute and ready to go to battle, that's when it hit me and my adrenaline kicked and I was excited, man. But the winds this time, they were something way different, like out of a scary horror novel. <laughs> The wind is brutal, that's why we're landing. We're gonna find something to go to because that's the spirit of aviation. That's the spirit of Old Green Plains, my man. Let's go. Let's go. So my first thought was, do we need to bail out? <laughs> I don't know what the hell what happened. The horns started honking, the windshield wipers started going crazy, and the flashers started going on. And with Senator Mike Flood, instantly looked and said, what the hell do you guys do? Everybody has a plan until you get hit in the mouth. That's what Mike Tyson used to say. We just stay the course. But the cool thing about this 